Hi, if you're out there. Now listen, Sean set this up yesterday, and possibly some people found out about it and actually are taking a few precious moments from your day to see what's been going on here at Wizard Academy. Seventeen strangers got together, well, two and a half days ago. They got here on, golly, this is Thursday, so it would have been Tuesday morning. We gave them a half day of instruction, and we absolutely forbid them to access any of their historic method. They weren't allowed to make any choices. As a matter of fact, they didn't even know what instruments were going to be here for them to play. We gathered a group of instruments from which you can't really do anything. And we said, this is all you get. This is all that's in the pantry. And then we dismissed all the musicians to go downstairs for lunch. And then we told the four writers that they had to pick four strong emotions each and write 12 lines about each of the four strong emotions. So the four writers gave us back 16 pieces of stuff, and I told them they only had 28 minutes to do this, all of it. So about seven minutes per thing, and then we passed those out as song lyrics. And what we said was, these are song lyrics, and they're sacred, and you don't get to change them. Now deal with it. And then when I read the lyric, and then write music that communicates the emotion that's exactly opposite what's in the lyric. And so extremely happy words were sung sad, and extremely, you know, angry words were sung joyfully, and very deep thoughts were sung as uh, contrived little ditties. And so it was shockingly sort of interesting. I mean, it's like people are going, wow, that was actually pretty good. And then we gave the writers a luxurious 20 minutes per song to write some more songs, which were then rehearsed a little bit the next day after we taught some more techniques to the musicians. So some very narrow guidelines. You don't get to do it the way you like to do it. You don't get to do these meaningful things that come out of your soul. You're going to strictly use technique and you're going to put these songs together like a jigsaw puzzle. We came out with a huge diversity of music. The song we're going to open with is one that this gang behind me only got together about 15 minutes ago to sing for the very first time. So what you're looking at are people who never saw each other before two days ago. And these songs have been written in a matter of minutes. They assemble a bunch of people, figure out how to arrange the song based upon some principles we taught them. And I think you might find it to be surprisingly good. I know that we did. Now, the first one is, uh, is called Borderline, Borderline Talent. Talent featuring Miss Ashley LaRue. Borderline talent, that's what you possess Just a bit of borderline talent, no more, no less You're coming over, or am I going down? If I'm not with you, you spread all over town Borderline talent, that's what you possess Just a bit of borderline talent, no more, no less you think you gifted, I beg to differ I've seen you do it shake and no quiver Borderline talent, that's what you possess Just a bit of borderline talent, no more, no less I'm going down below your borderline I'm always so amused by what I find Borderline talent, that's what you possess Just a bit of borderline talent, no more, no less Hey, who left this? It wasn't me This thing looks like the branch of a tree Borderline talent, that's all you got I'll take a look on, but that ain't that high Borderline talent, don't go down there Tat peeking out of your underwear Okay, now, as I promised you, a huge diversity of music Let's see, we've got Micah coming up, don't we? Yeah, pancakes and butter now listen, we're starting out with the most traditional sounds, the things that are perhaps the least surprising or shocking or bizarre. But trust me, as the show goes on, we will go there. 
into the downright uh, ridiculous and absurd. So we're gathering together a different gang. We've got Mark Forrester from Boston. We've got Berkeley, the gumball duck, Grimble. We've got Steve Ray, the retired retard. And we've got um, Hambone. And let's see, where is, um, who else is part of this group? Okay, this is the gang. Okay. All right. These are the guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We mentioned Scotty. All right. So, some classic blues with a little bit of salsa thrown on so that you can't quite recognize it. We've got Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine and the, uh, and the Flecktones. We'll go with that. <laughs> Is long, it was filled with cold, blotted with clouds, warm, friction and blood, chaotic okay world, shorts, lightning and thunder, pancakes and butter. And that's when I saw him. No matter how many times, I still had the same reaction. And never seen, always the matter. Always never, never seen, to amaze me. hopes and dreams, skin, not meant to shatter. Oh, Jacob's ladder. practical God, as far as looks go. Perhaps not. A god wouldn't borderline strength fear in your heart. No, he was more like a devil. He was almost too beautiful. He was too great. His glow left me wondering what was really under that golden hot skin of his. He reached out, but I didn't take his hand as I normally did. Instead of looking angry, he looked sad. I never knew they were capable of being sad. I can't go with you today, I told him. He didn't reply. He's incapable of human words. I'm sorry. I tried to meet his eyes, but he looked away. He turned back to me and reached his hand. Yeah, I've always with a felt this way before. I'm still in Kansas and never more. I shook my head. A pancakes and I butter. I hesitated, thinking if I run past him, will he grab me? Yeah, blow that I horn, sound me a line. Stop me now, I'm not worth trying. Swimming fire. London flying. No debris from dying. He looked up to me and took a step to me. Before I knew it, he was yeah, I've always in front felt of this way before. I'm still in Kansas and never more. I've always neck. felt this None way heard. before. I'm still in Kansas sweet. and never no more. No tongue, just lips. Softly giving me a pancakes and goodbye. butter. But hot is breast of flesh and with fascination, capsulation, motivation. Yeah, expose yourself. Open mail snails with elimination on answered phones, cow hamitation, the union reps of gate, termination, investigation, manipulation. You see cushions for flotation. Yeah, come on, pilot your life. You 
Juicy cushion for home, the home, home. stage Come on, break it down! A broken nation, strippers with anticipation The Oval Office collides in realization Big banks banking on consolidation Participation, mass hydration Juicy cushion for the station Yeah, come on, get up, kill. He won't swim. Come on, make some waves. You see cushion for the Yeah, uh huh. Fold, 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 fold. Now let's see. We've got, oh, in the air with Steve Ray, followed by Trisha Sylvester. Am I right? Or breathe. or breathe. Who's doing breathe? Adam. Okay, so here's how we're going to do We're going to be set up first for Steve, and then for Adam, and then for Trisha, right? And then we're going to Berkeley. Is that it? Anyway, there's a list over there. We'll get it. Hey, listen, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for tuning in. Now, the sound on this little TV thing that you're watching, streaming, is going to really be bad, and I apologize for that, but hey, you know, it's the most you can do when you kind of have the idea at the last minute. But the CD, we ran out yesterday. We decided, hey, let's record this. And so we ran out and bought a portable multi-track recorder, and we were running this into how many channels now, Dave? Eight. Eight channels. And so this will be pretty well mixed. I mean, we're recording it live. It's not going to be like a lot of post-production, but those will be... I mean, way cool, especially when you know the story and you know the history of who these people are and what they actually do for a living. It's easy to listen to them and think, gee, these are like musicians. No, 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 no. These are people exactly like you, hanging out at Wizard Academy, having a good time. And so the next time we do this, which will be very soon, we'll be doing it for Internet. It's an Internet workshop. If you go to wizardacademy.org, it's a class called How to Make Awesome Sauce. Now, that name is a disguise. Because if you're not cool enough to push past the name and see what it's about, then we don't really want you coming. But How to Make Awesome Sauce is going to go from total strangers, all of whom kind of have an idea for an Internet business online, and we're going to go to bringing in money. The businesses will be built. The websites will be functional. Money will be changing hands, and orders will be coming in for businesses that were merely an idea 72 hours earlier. So there's going to be – we're going to divide into teams – They'll vote on which companies to create. They'll create two or three companies in 72 hours. So the same way these people came together to build music that sounds like real music that was slaved over for weeks and weeks and weeks by really talented full-time musicians, they're creating this music, strangers that met less than 72 hours earlier. The one we're going to do, How to Make Awesome Sauce, is we're creating Internet companies the same way, but you will be guided not by me, but by David McInnes and some other super multimillionaire heavyweights who have already done it, been there, done that, got the T-shirt. Now they're going to teach you how to do it, too. But right now, it's time for Commander Ray. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. This is known as Ode to AA4480. Woke up angry this morning Yesterday was pretty much the same This job really sucks I hate all you fucks Hurry up, get on the plane These are the emergency exits Jump now for all that I care I'm single and fat So that's where I'm at My misery I love to share Chicago is a shithole. Kind of is, actually. My life really sucks as a whole. Ruining your day 
destroying your soul. That's what I see is my role. Woke up angry this morning. Yesterday was pretty much the same. This job really sucks. I hate all you. Hurry up and get on the plane. These are the emergency exits. Jump now for all that I care. I'm single and fat. So that's where I'm at, my misery I love to share. Woke up angry this morning. Yesterday was pretty much the same. This job really sucks. I hate all you. Hurry up and get on the plane. Hurry up and get on the plane. One question, who was supposed to be doing the tubular bells upstairs? Was it Michael Wagner? Steve lost his third gravitating body because when you're playing the tubular bells, it creates this Gregorian chant weird thing going on. So make sure you get the CD. Make sure you get the CD because you'll hear the song done properly with the really intrinsic third gravitating bodies that really don't belong but strangely fit. We let those out, Micah. All right, come down here and look shameful. Um, Help Steve look shameful. Who has a song about shame? Who did that earlier? You did a song about... Oh, your poem about shame. Okay, you may have to do that. You may have to do that again, so find the script. Let's see, who are we setting up for right now? Well, let's also talk about... Um, we have Coach Frazier. We have Coach Scott Frazier and... Peter Nevlin and the Young Writers Workshop. So if you've got kids 12 to 16 years old. We're setting up for JD, old, and then we'll do Adam. We're setting up for who? JD. JD. We're setting up for JD? All right. Okay. I'll keep talking to you. I'll ignore them. Here's what we're doing. The Young Writers Workshop, you have to accompany your child or grandchild who is 12 to 16 years old because we don't want to take responsibility for minors. You'll be sharing rooms in Engelbrecht House. Um, we have 14 rooms. The class has got about 10 uh, groups already in it, and a group is a, a parent with child or a grandparent with child. And it's a writing class where um, young writers, 12 to 16 years old, are coached, encouraged, given lots and lots of different assignments and uh, exercises. And it's the one class that brings in a lot of new people for the first time to Wizard Academy. And it has been an incredibly valuable class for us because Everybody who attends it has such a great time that they come back for lots more classes. And so maybe that's you. If you have somebody in your life between 12 and 16 years old that likes to write, and they write poetry or short stories or whatever, and you want to encourage that and be part of that and create a lifetime memory, bring them to Wizard Academy for the Young Writers Workshop. We make it shockingly affordable simply because we think it's such an important thing to do. And candidly, we lose money on it every year, but we're happy to do that simply because it needs to happen. So are you guys ready to roll? Yeah. Now, J.D., what's the name of this song? Uh, I'm sorry, Roy. This is a song called In the Air, um, written by uh, Trish. Trish Sylvester. Yes, Trish. Trish Sylvester, seven-minute song, In the Air. And who gets this mic? by uh, Patrick Sullivan, everybody. I need some help here. I need lots of help. <laughs> we all know that by now. Such a cold breeze creeps through my mind, carrying me back to the roots and the leaves. Desperate silence, throw it in. Hey, yeah. Pillows whirl through lace curtains I shudder at the blast of lights Silhouette against a golden rim Throw it in, yeah, throw it in I crescendo amidst the haste and clutches Stale air pervades the room Like a foul mist entangling the sights that fill my room Shrink into me, shrink into me, shrink into me. Bellows 
was a world through lace curtains I shudder at the blast of light Silhouette against the golden rim We'll throw it in, yeah, throw it in Just 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 do it in! Just do it in! Just do it in! Just do it in! Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. It's in my pocket right here. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock it. Pock the rocket. For no other reason than I own it, um, I have to have a didgeridoo. But really, the did you do playing will be handled by this fine young man behind me. Oh. The sun rises early each morning And with each new day I give praise For the comfort you bring into my life And the warmth of the sun's early rays The waves crash heavy on the shoreline Each crash I smile and recall How I am lucky I am to have found you The gods have answered my call Your breathing is the only thing stirring each breath It's the best part of my day Comfort is way underrated I'm not sure what else I can say and Now it's time for Vita Play Your breathing is the only thing stirring each breath. The best part of my day, comfort is way underrated. I'm not sure what else I can say. I'm not sure what else I can say. Sure, what else I can say? <laughs> all right, wonderful. I told you, I promised you broad diversity. I told you, you're going to see all kinds of stuff, all kinds of different styles, all kinds of people coming together to do things. Very unpredictable. Now, uh, they tell me the microphone is on. This is good, so you can hear me. And Sean pointed out to me, I haven't actually showed you the hole in my elbow yet. Now, I've been getting all kinds of problems from people about the hole in the elbow. They want to buy me a new shirt, but I'm very fond of this shirt. It's, uh, it's a special fabric. It makes me feel very good. And I'm keeping the shirt, and I know about the hole in the elbow. And, you know, Penny, she tries to talk me out of it, but it's just not going to happen. The, the, the shirt is good. I've had it for about 20 years. I like to wear it on hot days. 
So, we've got Berkeley Grimble, and we've got Shane Bogardus. We've got Vi Wickham. Are you in on this, Steve? Steve's in? Who? Yeah, <laughs> this is rap grass. You've heard of rap. You've heard of bluegrass, right? Rap, bluegrass. Rap, bluegrass. Now, Berkeley Grimble invented rap grass. Now, you may think you've heard rap grass before, but you haven't. Let me assure you, you have not heard rap grass. You will now hear rap grass, and the name of this song, we, we, it has a name, right? Uh, JFK. 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 The original rap grass song, and Just you feel were there. Cool. That's right. Just feel cool. Just feel cool. Yeah. young man yearns, but his dreams can't be real. The fire that burns will eventually yield. Young woman seduces the world at her feet. An old woman settles for the world she meets. Young nation yearns, a young leader replies, how high the moon, how high the sky. Young nation yearns, a young leader replies, how high the moon, how high the sky. How high the sky, how high the clouds, do you really want to fly? How high the moon, how high the sky, how high the clouds, do you really want to fly? Comfort and joy, 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 comfort and joy. Thank you. Well, there you have it, the first rap grass song in the history of the world. Oh. Rap grass invented by Berkeley Grimble, a jeweler. Now let's see, who's going to be up next? Eric. Eric Slickfoot Vito Eustis. That is his official name, by the way, Slickfoot Vito. Eric Slickfoot Vito Eustis. I have no idea where that came from, but that was the name he was assigned by his secret Santa. The Secret Santas assign nicknames to their uh, co-laborers here at the Academy. And so Eric Slickfoot is going to do his number, equally adaptive and creative, bizarre, twisty, quirky, sure. and interesting. And he was back there admiring Berkeley's work, and I said, well, I saved you for after Berkeley, because I'm kind of like building them up to the truly weird. And then who comes after, who comes after Eric Slickfoot? Who was that? It was going to be Scott. No, Scott's not last. Seems like we had another. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. That's right. We got Ashley to go. We got two or three more to go. We'll do Ashley next. Wait a minute. Crimson Sky. We haven't done Crimson Sky, have we? Which one do you want to do? Crimson Sky or the other one? Pick one. All right. Slick Foot, you ready to go? Uh, yes. Who gets this mic? Uh, who, who gets that mic? It's on the floor. Okay. Where's Steve Ray? Steve's, Steve's Steve coming. Ray. What's good, up, Steve Good, good, good. Yeah. Well, I'll take now. this opportunity then to uh, do nothing. <laughs> you, do, you do that magnificently well. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now, notice the combination of instruments that these are not instruments that anybody would have chosen to perform with. You'll notice the absolute absence of a drum kit. There is no traditional drum kit because that's what you have to have to make almost any kind of music. And so that's the first thing we took away. And um, if we didn't have the congas, we just wouldn't have percussion at all. So thank God Shane Bo Bogardis brought some congas. You guys want this mic? We get on this guitar. We good? Yeah, 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 all right. I stay across from four. You reach for me and I pull for you. Every element given its own. The tide moon will the moon fly. Fly. Na 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 na. Compression. Heavy bending minds Crack open Augie skull What will you find? Speaking things I can't understand Snoring through boring classes With notes on my hand What have you taught? What did you teach? A man's grass should not be his reach Is on me now. Be my riches and grass. But nothing I find. Nothing. Liquor and compression. Heavy bending minds. Crack open all your skull. What will you find? What have you taught us? What did you teach? A man's grass should not be, should not be his reach.
shrugged and squeezed and screamed, little kids. Imagine that crimson Check one, two. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this song is called String Me. This magnificent game of hide the answer With a sound and sound is dancer does he see from up above? We are solving from his love. Please just say that God is sound. Each of us is round and round. Each of us moves round and round the board. Jumping, keeping checks, we hoy. Pull my string and vibrate my theory. We are the lambs, but where is Mary? I'm up above. We are solving for his love. This is Checks we hoard. I don't care. Is he, is he really there? Vishnu say that God is sound. Vishnu say that God is sound. Vishnu say that God is sound. Each of us go round and round. Vishnu say that God is sound. Each of us go So perhaps appropriately, uh, this is called 17 Strangers. Gather round, children, and listen to a story. This is a story about storytellers. You'll meet 17 strangers, shamans and sages, mystics and medicine men. You'll meet a poet and a playwright, a singer and a songwriter, a temptress and a torbay. You'll hear a banjo playing far off in the distance, and you won't run away. You'll spy monsters in the deep and behold broken angels in the sky. You'll slay dragons and conquer brave new worlds. You'll feel happy and sad, imprisoned and free, all at the same time. You'll find true love, then misplace it. You'll discover your one true self and stumble upon many other selves you didn't even know existed. You'll meet a wandering minstrel and his band of traveling musicians. The musicians will all tell you it's about the music. But they're lying. It's not about the music. 
It's what the music's about. It's not what song, but why song. Why does every single culture on this planet, independent of one another, divided by oceans, separated by tens of thousands of miles, all feel the need to hollow out trees and beat on them? This is a story about storytellers. It's about communication. It's about having something meaningful to say and saying it with meaning. Storytellers can unite the people or divide the tribe. They can destroy a nation or inspire a generation. They speak to you and they speak for you all in a single breath. They lift you up and they give you voice. This is a story about storytellers. Every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. At the beginning of the story, you're born. At the end of the story, you find yourself in a box below the ground or in an urn above the fireplace. The beginning of the story is already written and the ending is already known. It's what you do in between that counts. This is a story about storytellers. Now, let the story begin. Once upon a time. Okay, that's our show for today. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to, um, it's an hour, it's an hour. Dave's got a great song, it takes too long to set up. JD, JD, it will be on the CD. We have to leave some mysteries to be revealed when they donate a hundred bucks for the Musicians Plaza here at the Academy. And uh, there's only gonna be 200 people. Now these are the 17 who donated a hundred dollars a piece. So we only need what, 183 more people to throw down a hundred bucks? And they're going to get the entire 17 songs. How long will it take you to do all of the whatever you have to do before we can like send these out? Two days? Two days. Two days. So maybe Monday or Tuesday, these will be available for download. And um, very done. He painted himself in the corner there, didn't he? Wow. Um, it's going to be worth having. It's going to be awesome. And so another wonderful experiment completed at Wizard Academy. We're glad you took an hour out of your day to join us and be part of it. But now, I want to hear out there through the internet, all of you guys jumping and shouting and saying, well done, clap and cheer, then get out your checkbook and send us 100 bucks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>